Hi, my name is Rachel Simon and I'm here to talk to you about some of the work we're doing here at the Laboratory for Manufacturing and Sustainability. But first, a quick question. Which of these containers is sustainable? Here's a hint. It's a trick question. This container is made of plastic and because of its square shape, it can be stacked instead of having to use milk crates to ship it. On the other hand, this glass container can be washed and refilled and used over and over again. However, despite the features of both these containers, neither one would be considered sustainable by many of the definitions of sustainability. That's because sustainability is often defined in absolute terms, including aspects such as having a net positive, or at least a net neutral, impact on the environment, acting in ways that is simultaneously economic, environmentally, and socially beneficial, using resources that still allows for others in the future to use them as well, and improving the quality of life globally. Well, if neither of these containers are sustainable, is one of them closer to being sustainable than the other? Well, that depends on how you measure sustainability. At the lab, we've been focusing on developing the metrics to evaluate these impacts, with a particular focus on packaging, in the hopes that they can be generalizable and insights can be gained for other products and processes. Since most packaging on the market can be improved along at least one of these measures, each one offers its own opportunities for improvement. Also of interest is whether the conventional wisdom about the waste hierarchy holds true as the best methods to improve packaging. This summer we've been working with Kimberly Clark and Waste Management under the Sustainable Products and Solutions Program to investigate the different tools used to evaluate the sustainability of packaging and to consider the metrics that are of greatest importance in these assessments. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at rachel at iur.berkeley.edu or please visit our website, lmas.berkeley.edu. Thank you.